We're getting a clearer picture of what will happen during Aretha Franklin's funeral on Friday. We've learned LeBron James is going to be in attendance. We've also got a sneak peek at the program. The processional is going to begin at 10 with readings from a number of pastors, including T.D. Jakes. Uh, Faith Hill will sing a tribute early in the program followed shortly after by Ariana Grande. Personal reflections will be given by former President Bill Clinton, the Reverend Jesse Jackson, Tyler Perry, Cicely Tyson, Clive Davis, and Smokey Robinson. Also just added Pistons legend Isaiah Thomas. Performances from Jennifer Hudson and Stevie Wonder help round out the program. And if everything goes as scheduled, the recessional will end by 3 p.m. Now, earlier today, we caught up with the man in charge of making sure this all goes off without a hitch. And uh, this is what he says is his single greatest responsibility on Friday. I want people to come into this building, into this sanctuary, and to feel the presence of God. If they feel the presence of God, they're going to feel her presence. And they're going to know that her soul is with God. And we invite you to be with us Friday for Aretha Franklin's Celebration of Life. Our live coverage begins starting at 9 a.m. We'll carry it live on air. We'll also stream it online and on the Local 4 Facebook page as well. Take a look now at live pictures from the Charles H. Wright Museum where fans continue to line up to pay their respects to Aretha Franklin. Today we've seen a somber change in mood as Aretha lies in repose because it means we're just one step closer to saying our goodbyes on Friday. Paula Tutman is live there tonight. Paula, you spoke to folks who've been to see Aretha both yesterday and today. Absolutely, and that might have something to do with what feels like really a more dense crowd. It feels like more people were not getting a count as of yet, but you can see them moving in. The Reverend Jesse Jackson actually was just in to pay his respects, as well as people who've been here numerous times. It was emotional. Like when I stood at the casket, they were trying to push me along, but I just wanted to, you know, say a little prayer. You know, because, I mean, when you grow up, there are people who mean something to you. You know, you just never forget. Saying goodbye is different when Aretha Franklin was Miss Riri, the woman who lived next door. When we used to menace Aretha Franklin, I think I was between, like, 11 and 15, 16. We used to uh, ring her doorbell and run. We would ride our bikes across her grass. Today, Dee Jones is remembering the colorful lady who could get real salty from those 70s days in the Boston Edison community of Detroit. She would, you know, tell my dad, you know, your kids, you know, and their friends, they're, you know, they're menacing me. Keep it short, but she didn't use those terms. In fact, everything is different about today. Not only the clothing Aretha is wearing as she lies in repose, not in that hot regal red skirt suit and flashy red heels yesterday. Today, she's more serene in a shimmering silvery baby blue gown laced with sequin and matching shoes. Yes, they like she was getting ready to just jump up and start singing. Today, it looked like she got her wings and she's singing up in the heavens. She looked gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, come on, she's a diva. She looked beautiful. Yesterday, people were in awe. Today, people are in grief. Getting close to her burial and once they close that casket, you know, that's it for the family, but we gotta just keep her music alive. I wanted to thank her family for just kind of sharing her with us, and I'm glad that we got to live to see her in this time. She was a really good singer. Yes. Yeah, there's definitely a change today. It is visible and it is palpable, guys. Paula, we didn't have a picture this time, is, is that right? Yes, no cameras inside today, um, though there are people who had been here both days. They did notice the change in the clothing, and you know what? People like it. They think it's a great idea, and they're actually appreciative of the effort the family is putting through. They really are.